Vietnamese president Nguyen Nguyen Lai, and lastly, the other significant personality that we drew support to then President Marcos was the former chief of the Philippine Constabulary and the vice chief of the armed forces of the Philippines at that time. Please help me in welcoming the former president of the Republic of the Philippines, the Honorable Fidel V. Ramos. President uh, Benigno S. Aquino III, Secretary of National Defense uh, Voltaire Gasmin, our uh, genial and uh, generous host, Senate President Juan Ponsin Rile, Senator uh, Gregorio Nasan, other dignitaries, members of the EPPC Commission, the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces, General Ricardo David and the Major Service Commanders, representatives of uh, other services, at ang mga katulong natin sa pamalaan, lalo na sa ating Department of National Defense and the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Magandang hapon sa inyo pong lahat, mga kasama, mga kababayan, at mga kapitbahay. In my particular case, I saw EDSA after 25 years of uh, hindsight as an ongoing revolution. And our 25 years as a free and freedom-loving people is part one of several periods in our struggle of uh, a people aspiring for independence, for freedom, and a respected place in the community of nations. And uh, in these three periods that uh, I am about to mention, let us remember that it was a civilian-military partnership working together as a patriotic people that made the difference. I recall that uh, the date 1896 to 1898 must be revealed by all of us, starting with the cry at Kugat Nawin by Fort Bonifacio and ending in Cowit, 1898, with the Declaration of Independence by General Emilio Aguinaldo. We likewise should reveal, with equal respect, the date 1942, represented by the defense of Bataan Corridor, by our armed forces, and our veterans of the guerrilla movement, then part of the USAFE under General MacArthur. And now, 1986, the 25th uh, anniversary of which we celebrate today. It is our younger people, like uh, President Aquino to begin with, and Secretary Gasmin, who must continue to help impart, together with us, the elders, the lolos, and the tatais, what uh, these three shining moments of history really meant to Filipinos. It is a continuing process. And if there's any one lesson we should take from ELSA 1986, it should be that civilians and soldiers willing to die for the cause of freedom and democracy banded together in order to make a big difference. And uh, in simple words, I call this spirit of sacrifice during those three defining moments in Philippine history as our caring, 
sharing and daring for each other and for our beloved Philippines. Sana kahit na ito lang po ang uh, isagawa at isabuhay ng ating mga sambayan ng Pilipino. Caring, sharing, and daring. Ito po ay pangalan ng tatlong magagandang Pilipina. Kaya madali para sa atin yan. Si Karing, si Charing, at saka si Daring. But, it is a continuing process which the younger ones after us must continue to carry on. So that finally, the Filipino people will have a better, more bountiful, and respected future. And for our beloved Philippines, to rise again to where it used to belong in an admirable and competitive position in the community of nations. Para sa akin po, yan po ang mensahe ng EDSA 1986. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay tayo lahat. Mabuhay ang Pilipina. Thank you very much, former President Ramos. And thank you very much, sirs, for all your inspiring remarks.